which I think again is fucking beautiful. And I didn't think it was sale. I thought it was off white or an off white, off white. But I don't know. Maybe that's true. Maybe it's sale. Was the this one that he debuted during Fashion Week on the runway? They look fucking banging. It's unfortunate they're women's. I guess if you're a men's size, they do go up to like a 13, which is like a UK, which is like a men's 9.5. You can probably get a pair. Uh, but they're fucking beautiful. But it's interesting because two of the best sort of colorways in women's Jordans have been probably one of two of my favorites in Jordans for in general. That one by that lady. Is it something Kim that had the pony hair Jordan 4? Remember those? Let me see if I can find them. Uh, pony hair Jordan uh, 4. It's in black, right? Let's see. It's this one. I forgot who Dan did them. Uh, this is a pinnacle shoe by... Who's, who does, who's a good collaboration? Who did this? I don't know who did it, but... Was it what's her name? Olivia Kim. That's it. She did a whole pack of these, right? Remember? And these are fucking banging. And these are probably some of the best shoes, probably some of the best ones I've seen from Jordan. And they're kind of women only, unfortunately, right? So they didn't go up to a certain size. But they saw like the black cats, but it's got the pony hair on them. Um, let me get the pony hair on them, right? And you've got these sort of like Peyton. Is it Peyton? Would you call that Peyton? Or plasticized wings on it? All black. Pony hair all over it. Fucking beautiful shoe. But anyway, um, going back to the sales. So these are the ones that debuted during Paris Fashion Week. You've got the convention. Again, um, the usual sort of like mock-up on them. Translucent wings and heel tab. The air written on the midsole. Translucent sort of like four foot mid. Sort of four foot sort of like sole bit in the front there. Um, and then you've got a completely sale sort of upper. Which makes me remind you of the kind of, you know, those Hender Scheme shoes from Japan. That are sort of like handmade and leather and shit. And it reminds me of those. Um, so those are due to come out very, very soon. Um, this is an article from Hypebeast. Following the debut on Sneaker during the Off-White for Winter 2020 presentation, we now have a glimpse of detailed photograph, photograph of the head turning Jordan 4. Uh, keeping in line with the sample shoe, senior creative director Virgil Abloh has figured speech admission the shoe, which will be offered in women's sizes, is executed in an Ecrutin e sale colorway. Okay, it's sale. I thought it was Off-White, but it is sale. If you look at the outfit that that person's wearing, it is sale. I love that they put the outfit. I love the unconventional use of Jordans, like placing Jordans with a suit. Especially something with that such a lighter fabric is pretty cool, uh, you know, because most people that are wearing them are going to be wearing them with raw denim jeans or with really big baggy combat trousers. So the fact that they kind of, you know, flipped them and gave them this feminine touch um, by putting them in lighter fabrics, lighter colorways, lighter materials, lighter styling is really, really cool. I really like that. Um, so we've got here, da -da -da, that's the look of them. You've got here a little pic of someone wearing them, right, with the suit from the last collection. The actual shoe itself looks fucking beautiful. The upper is that new buck? Probably is new buck, right? It would be, you know, be pretty awesome if they did as well to add to it. Like it was no liner, like so, like, no stitching. It was just all one piece. That would be pretty cool. Um, but I like the, I like everything about it. It's all sale everywhere. It looks like it's a new bucky kind of feel with bright white laces. I look fucking banging. I quite like the laces, those sale laces, but I quite like the white contrast there with the kind of midfoot here. Um, and then of course you've got the breads which are due to come out too. Oh, look at the front. The front isn't what I thought it was. It's not faded out suede. It's that same sort of like translucent mesh that you saw on the Jordan 5s. And then the midsole, okay. And then that mesh on the forefoot here isn't white. It's black. Interesting. So, and it's black as well on the midsole. It's not white as it was. So I don't sure what shoe's going to come out. I'm not sure if it's the one that we're seeing on Kicks on Fire, which is this, which is the one I prefer is that one, right? I think this shoe is actually the better one to this personally, but again, I wouldn't be mad at either. Um, and yeah, so there, there's the off-white sale we saw as well in the in exhibition. So yeah, I think it's fair to say that every colorway here so far has come out. So we're probably going to be able to, we're probably going to see, you know, that that uh, one, the Jordan one with the yellow toe box probably coming out very soon. We're probably going to see maybe that shoe there, I forgot the name of it, that was Hiroshi Fujara did a collaboration of there with the front there. We're probably going to see a few of these shoes coming out now that they're doing this. Uh, above compared the original sample to the shoes of the fully realized silhouette seen the off-white runway in Paris. Meanwhile, golfer Pat Perez recently teased the recently the court ready pair of Jordan 4 golf sneakers. Okay, cool. But yeah, that's the shoe there again. Off-white Jordan 4 Jumpman. You've got obviously Virgil posting or Carl had posting a picture of sneakers and heels. So yeah, these are due to come out very soon. They both look amazing. I think again, some of the some of the best work Virgil's done has come via Jordan and come via Nike. So um definitely these are up there with some of them. And again, I'm a big fan of the bread colorway. I think it's probably the best shoe of all time. Top three for me, MX90, MX90 infrareds, uh, Jordan 4 breads, and obviously Air Force 1 all white. So yeah, due to come out very soon. Keep an eye on that if you're that way inclined.